guys, it's Jorge Cruz for USA Weekend Magazine, and I am here with my dear friend, Dr. Wayne Dyer, and we are gonna gonna blow away some excuses when it comes to exercise. Absolutely, you do it. You know, a lot of people that, that read my column, they're scared, they know they need to exercise, they know right. it's a good thing, but they think they're too busy, they don't have time, but they don't like to sweat. Yeah. So we're about to do, tell them what we're about to do. We're about to do a big room yoga class, which is uh, done at about 110 degrees, and it's 90 minutes of uh, intense exercise that uh, really gives you a workout for not just the joints and not just your uh, First of all, outside of you, every organ of your body That's right. gets, uh, gets exercise in, uh, in a big room yoga. It's an ancient practice. That's something I do. I do about six days a week. And I, as well, I do about three, three times, three, four times a week. But now my new mentor here, he's inspiring me to take it up a notch. And we want to share with you what this experience is like. And then we're going to talk to you after the class about breaking through excuses. Right, absolutely. We would say excuses be gone. Go on. Your new book. Absolutely. I love the concept. All right, let's do it, guys. Well, we just did 90 minutes of hot yoga, uh, which is a, an exercise regimen for the entire body. And it's something that I do almost every single day. Because I've always believed that if you, uh, you, know, if you don't uh, take time for exercise, then you're going to have to take time for being sick or being out of shape. That's right. And if you don't keep your body healthy, then you won't have anywhere to live. Because this is where you do all of your living, right inside this body. So. That's right. Well, he has a magnificent new book out. I want to recommend it to everyone watching right now. It's called Excuses Be Gone. And, you know, where it applies to everything, but the one at least that relates to my readers is not having enough time, mm -hmm. not wanting to exercise because they don't have the energy, right. or they just don't like to sweat, and we've yeah. been sweating. Absolutely. So what do we, what can, in a nutshell, help my readers understand the first key, really something simple that they can, as a result, can apply after watching this to come over, and whether it's sweating, because I know a lot of gals yeah. don't like to sweat, uh -huh. you know, and yet how do you exercise if you that's can't right. sweat? That's the whole purpose, guys. Or that they don't say it all the time. So help us break through those excuses. It's, again, it's changing your thoughts. When you change your thoughts, your whole life, everything just falls into place. Instead of telling yourself that you don't have time, even if you're not going to exercise, in your own mind, in your imagination, that's the greatest gift that you've been given by God. In your imagination, you can go anywhere. Go into your imagination, imagine yourself exercising, and then go to the feeling state that that uh, creates for you in your body. Go in your thoughts to the uh, idea of exercising on a regular basis, and then see how that feels, and then go to the feeling state. Because your subconscious mind, which is where all of the changes take place, can't tell the difference between what is actually real, whether you're exercising or not, because if you uh, or what you are imagining in your mind, and especially at night, the last five minutes before you go to oh, bed. Oh, I like this. I remember yeah. you shared this with me. Absolutely. The last, up, guys. The last, up. last five nights, last five minutes before you go to sleep, you want to. You don't want to review all the things that are wrong, all the things you don't like about yourself, all the things that are missing in your life, all the troubles you have, all the difficulties you have in relationships, all the all the reasons why you can't exercise. You want to just go to that place in your imagination, yeah. create it. Go to the feelings state, see what it feels like in your imagination to be in, in the ideal shape you'd like to be, and then for the rest of your night, that's eight hours, you're going to marinate in your subconscious mind, and your subconscious mind just accepts everything that comes to it as true. So now you're going to sleep at night feeling really good about being in, in the proper kind of shape, eating the right kind of diet and so on, and for the next eight hours, your subconscious mind goes to work and offering you opportunities during the day to manifest exactly what it is that you're thinking about. It's a very simple technique, and the more you use your imagination to create the ideal weight and the ideal uh, exercise regimen that you have, just in your imagination yeah. first, because everything that exists in the real world first had to start with a thought. With a thought. Go to those thoughts, thoughts of things. Go to those thoughts, and as you go to those thoughts, go to the feeling state that accompanies those thoughts, and ultimately you will act upon what you think about, because that's the only thing you have to act upon. Give us as a bonus minute for everyone, because you're in phenomenal shape. I know you. I mean. I'm, I'm, Wayne is my mentor now. He's 68, right? You don't mind us sharing. Oh, no, almost 69. And healthy as can be, energized. Mm. Well, tell everyone in a nutshell, in a minute or less if you can, your typical day. Like, how does it start? How does it end? And when it comes to what you eat, 
You have your exercise. Give us a little. Give us a little role model. First thing I do in the morning when I wake up, as soon as I wake up, is I say thank you. I just say thank you for this day. Thank you, God, for everything that I have in my life. Second thing I do is I try to do something for somebody else that doesn't have anything to do with me. I take my attention off of what's in it for me and how may I serve. And then I go and I have my breakfast, which is usually a shake. I use nano greens and a series of supplements and things like that. And then 45 minutes later, I'm in a yoga class. And I do yoga for 90 minutes virtually every single day. So we were just doing, it's called Bikram Yoga. If you all have not heard of it, it's hot yoga, 90 minutes. It changed my minutes. life. It truly changed my And life. I've been doing it for two years myself. And you've been doing it for four or five? Almost four. It'll be four years very soon. And then after the yoga class, I come back. And generally, uh, I take a shower. And and I tell, tell them, I don't interrupt, but tell them why you started to take it. Because a lot of my readers have I had, pain. I had horrible chronic back pain. I, I couldn't even hardly walk around yeah. the block. I had been a runner for many, many years. And also, I'd been... Uh, a semi-professional tennis player. I had done, you know, like I had done a lot of damage to my lower back, to my joints, to my knees, and so on. And I was, in, and this is what this has done is just taken all of that away from me. I used to just bend over and I'd have to creep like. Yeah, an and I'm 38, and I was feeling that, yeah. you know. So I don't. I, it's all ages. And then I meditate. I generally I meditate 30 to 45 minutes every single day. Wow. That's just an absolute given because it's in the silence. You know, Blaise Pascal, the great scientist and philosopher, once said that all of man's troubles stemmed from his inability to sit quietly in a room alone. Most of us don't know how to go to that place within us. And then I generally... Well, what's the, the key? If there was a simple key, not that there might be, but what's for someone who says, oh my gosh, meditation? Just get quiet. Just just push the thoughts out. And if you don't know how to do it, I've, I've written a book about it called Getting